what's up y'all welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna show y'all how i got this cute pink and purple marbled ombre set today with a little bit of chanel you already know and we're gonna get right into the video so for the colors i'm using is pink from valentino my purple from valentino and the numbers are on the bottom which you see and y'all see myself i just poured out the monomer like i'm so clumsy sometimes so i'm just pouring back my monomer my monomer is from valentino as well and then i'm also using my perfect nude and crystal clear from valentino which that's what those were So I did already do all my prepping. If you want to see how I prep my natural nails for the acrylic process, that video is down in the description box below. But here I'm just adding my dehydrator and primer, which are from Valentino as well. So we're all prepped and I'm just going to go in and mix the two colors onto my brush and just play with them on the nail. You know, no marble has to be perfect. You don't want to look at it as if it's going to be perfect because then you're going to just be thinking too much and it's going to come out wrong. So I usually put a clear on the natural nails to prevent the natural nails from being pigmented. I didn't do it this time, but I should have but anyways yes i'm just going through mixing the two colors putting them on the nail and just seeing you know what color can go where what color i can add and i'm kind of brushing it up once it, we get closer to the cuticle area because it is ombre and you want them to blend better so that's why you see me brushing them up and i'm also staying with like i'm not doing the nude at the same time because um i do want the colors to dry before i add the nude because if I put the nude on right away, it's going to smear the colors more and make it more of like that poopy color. And we don't want that, you know. So just let those pigments dry and then add the nude. So now we're ready for our nude and I'm just going in and taking some and placing it and just dragging it downwards. And I'm not doing worrying too much about the apex for this part because I am going to go through with my crystal clear to encapsulate it and I can create an apex there. So I'm just going through and adding my beads up to the cuticle area just to get that nude dragged down and create that ombre.
Then, like I mentioned, I'm just going in with my crystal clear and encapsulating all of the nails.
Once all of the acrylic is done, I'm going in with my hand file to shape up the nails. And I do most of my shaping with my hand file and some shaping with the e-file. If you want to watch a more descriptive video on how I shape, that video is in the description box as well.
So I did have the client wash their hands once I'm done shaping and then we're on to the base coat which I use Madam Glam and I do have a code for y'all to get some money off and the description for that is well the link for that is in the description box below so yes go get your gel polishes base coats or whatever y'all want their polish is actually really good i'm starting to love their top coat it's super shiny i don't know why i switched up the hands here but yeah i'm just going ahead and putting on the base coat and then i'm going to cure for 60 seconds For my bling, I'm going in with Zule's glue, adhesive glue, which that'll be in the description box as well. Just placing a little bit where the gem is going to be and then putting the gem on. And I do, I don't, I do use the activator spray to help um, the glue dry. I don't know if I used it in this video. I might have. But yes, I'm just placing it into where I want it to be, letting that dry. Then I am adding a few oh i did use a spray right there and that's from mia secret but that she also has it on her website at zule's so yes then i'm just adding a diamond for on the rest of them and then you will see me go around the chanel charm one more time because it is a bigger charm so i just want to make sure it's not like any open spaces where it can be yanked on or it can yank your hair or anything like that so i just want to close that in which you'll see me do Once all of that is dry and you don't have to cure the Zule's bling, it just dries. I'm going in with my Madam Glam top coat. Again, my code for y'all to use. And yes, I'm just going around the gem, applying my top coat, all of the fingers, and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds as well. And y'all know I gotta apply my cuticle oil, so that's what's going down here. And this is the finished look. These came out so cute. I love these. I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I know I've been MIA, but I definitely got stuff coming for y'all. Just having a lot, you know, going on or whatever. But I got y'all. I got videos coming, okay? And let me know if y'all want to see any other videos.